name is Charlotte Stone. I've been attending St. John's for all 10 years, and I will be attending Robinson ID in the fall. My speech was given by Malala Yousafzai. She gave it to activists and visionaries attending the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony in Oslo, Norway on December 11, 2014. This speech is going to be really hard. It is about education. This word seems a bit complex, but it simply means the right to learning. And I simply ask that the right to learning should be given to every child. I ask for nothing else. But unfortunately, there are 57 million children who are out of school. For some of us, this would be really sad news, really shocking news maybe. And it might be happening like somewhere far away from this world, but it's happening in this world where we are living. It is not on any other planet. The children we are speaking for are living on this earth. They are all children and they have the right to learn. But unfortunately, there are many people who do not give this opportunity to children, either because they believe that children are supposed to work for them or that the children don't deserve it. Either that it is against social taboos or it's a waste of money. And we need to fight against these mindsets. So this is a collective campaign. If you want to see their change, if you want to see every child get a quality education, then we have to work together. We have to go on this journey, but together. So I request all of you think today, how can you help? How can you help these children to go to school? This is a big opportunity for us to speak to the world. The children are facing many problems and many issues, and now is the time to think about the future generation. It is our duty, and I am hopeful that change will come. One day, we will see every child getting quality education. But for that, we need to work together. We need to make it our target. We need to make it our objective of life. I have promised myself that I will fight for the rights of these children because I cannot forget the days when every morning I would see poor girls going to other people's houses and suffering from child labor instead of going to school. And I considered it my duty to fight for their rights. I want to see them in school uniforms holding books and pens in their hands. I want to see their futures bright. If you don't educate children, then they become a generation lost. So now, is the, so if you want to protect the future generation, we have to think about their education now. Thank you so much to all of you.